This video tutorial will cover the process of connecting your organizational website to Google Analytics and Google Webmaster Tools. These are important resources for allowing you to assess the performance of the site relative to search engine results uh, and also to track visitors and audience of the site uh, as you add content uh, and develop it. And down the road you will in also integrate Google Analytics with your Google AdWords uh, content uh, if you choose to pursue that. So we start from exactly where we were at the end of the previous exercise. Uh, you have your basic site ready to go. The URL is already established. Uh, and now we're going to work on making those connections. So first of all, let's go up to the uh, top of the page and we're going to copy uh, the URL for the site, uh, which we're going to use as we make our connections with Analytics and Webmaster Tools. Under More Actions, click Manage Site and then General. We're going to start with Webmaster Tools and we're going to enter a meta uh, tag string here and we have to go to Webmaster Tools to get that. Uh, now to reach Webmaster Tools, click on My Account. You'll see in a new window some of the options that are available and click on Webmaster Tools. Uh, this is the home page for Webmaster Tools. Notice we're signed into our account uh, and we now add a site we paste the URL for our site here. Uh, we now have a meta tag that it generates for us. We copy that. Then back in the general tab, paste it here. Save those changes. then back to Webmaster Tools we verify the site and so now information from our site is going to be collected from Webmaster Tools and as, the, as traffic develops and as it uh, analyzes the site we'll be able to get some information on it here. Okay now let's turn to the process for adding Google Analytics and that connection to the site. To do so Let's click My Account again and go to Google Analytics. Now I've already set up a Google Analytics account so you may well uh, have to go through the process of registration here to get to this point and you'll note that in the terminology of Google Analytics every account is for a separate website. So I already have a couple done and you will not uh, but from here the process is the same. Uh, we add a new account and click Sign Up. Now we have to do the URL again, uh, so let's go back here, copy the basic URL, and note that I haven't included the HTTP or the uh, any of the text after Kentucky Classics. So we copy that, back to new account setup, and put that here in the URL text box. It assumes that this is going to be the account name. I'm going to call that Kentucky Classics instead. Uh, and let's change the default to Central Time uh, and continue. I'm providing my name. You would probably use the organizational account. This is the terms of service. Read that over. Uh, indicate that you agree and then create that new account. Okay, now for this to work, uh, typically if we were doing a basic website, we would take this code and paste it into the HTML. But because we're working with a Google Sites application, all we need is that number. So let's copy that, move back into uh, the general tab, uh, and that then is the number that goes here. Uh, let's get rid of those quotation marks uh, and now we're ready to go. Let's return to the site.
so now we've added the uh, the site as an account to Google Analytics and we've uh, placed the, the appropriate code in and now we're ready to receive information. Uh, the status here tells us that Google Analytics has yet to pick up tracking information just yet, uh, but normally it takes about 24 hours or so for that to occur. And when it does, when we come back to this site, we'll be able to review some of the reports. So that concludes this video lesson on adding Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools to your website.